here on Canal de English for another edition of the program, The Forum. Today, our guest is Felix Teche Nyamosa. He is a militant of the Social Democratic Front. As you all know, the Social Democratic Front, abbreviated the SDF, is the largest intra and extra, extra parliamentary opposition party. He is here today for one reason and only one. The thing is that he is the person who is going to stand against the long-standing chairman of the Social Democratic Front, that is John Fundy. Please do not go away. In a short while, he will be telling us why and what he thinks he is, why he thinks he is capable to take over the mantle of leadership from John Fundy. Announce at the introduction of this program, our guest tonight is Felix Teche Nyamusa. He's a militant of the Social Democratic Front and also a contender to the chair or the chairmanship of the Social Democratic Front. Mr. Felix Nyamusa, it's a pleasure to have you it's here. It's my pleasure, Smith. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Great, it's a pleasure. And greetings to Cameroonians and uh, lovers of democracy who are watching us. Good. Now, let me ask you a question. Um, I understand you are standing in October for the post of chairmanship of the largest intra and extra parliamentary opposition that is the SDF, right? That's right. Um, have you been a militant for a long time and what really is the motive that is pushing you to go on for the top job of the SDF? That's right. I've been militant of the SDF from inception. Uh, when the SDF was created in 1990, I was in school in the university in Nigeria. So I immediately imbibed, I, I, I took to the manifesto, I took to what the SDF stood for. And I was very enthusiastic like many other young persons. So from that day, I considered myself a militant. So uh, I think that today, more than 27 years after, I think that I'm uh, mature enough in the party to stand elections with any person. And with my manifesto, mm -hmm. that is already in the market, uh, in French and English, I think that, uh, and from the reactions, I think that uh, I will beat John Frunde or any other candidate. You think, you, the, you think you're going to beat John Frunde or, or any, any other candidate? Or any country. other candidate. Yes. Um, I have what it takes. You have what it takes. Good. Let's see what it takes. Now let's talk. Let's talk about on a personal point of view. Good. You were a student in Nigeria, and what did you read in Nigeria? I read uh, textile science and technology. Mm -hmm. Then eventually did. Uh, uh, I did for the first uh, degree, mm -hmm. and then eventually did a postgraduate in uh, uh, journalism mm -hmm. from the uh, International Institute of Journalism, mm -hmm. uh, Abuja Kaduna Campus. Abuja Kaduna Campus. Good. Great. Now let me ask you this question. So you are now, what do you do for a living? I'm a journalist. Well, uh, I've a militant been a, journalist. A yeah, militant journalist and I'm a business person. And a business person. Yes. You said somewhere here at on Canal de Engli uh, English, okay. in the program, the forum, not okay. the forum, it was Talk Talk. Okay. You said that if the leveling, if the playing field is leveled, good you are going to beat John Frundy. That's right. Are you not in, a, in another way, in a subtle manner, trying to prepare the grounds that if you are beaten, you will cry foul? Uh, if I'm beaten on a level field, so, but what, what makes uh, you if, think, I, if makes, I'm beaten on makes, a level field, but, but with my manifesto, with what I've seen, what, what, what I've seen, I don't see anybody beating me. But if I'm beaten on a level field in democracy, I will accept it. But anything short of that, we will not accept it. I have a campaign. I have a following. Now, what makes you think, or what has made you to to float the idea that the playing field could or might not be level? That's right. We started. Uh, before now, there were supposed to be uh, elections, the convention before now, in April, sometime back. They postponed it for reasons I did not, I did not quite find them convincing. But however, 
when a party takes a decision, we'll go by them. We may criticize, but we'll go by them. Before that time, a fake election was conducted. In my absence, they said John Fundy was not there. I wasn't there. It is not within the SDF constitution. It was done. No, let, I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Yes. There, are, there are two things you just raised. That's right. The first one you said was uh, the convention has been postponed. Yes, it was postponed to uh, October. To October. Yes. Are you insinuating that it was postponed to October because they fear your challenge to the post of the chair? I think so. I you, think so. What makes you I think, think so. It why, is, why, it why, is why? a John Fundy led executive. But then there is... To contradict, you, to contradict you, I'm sorry. Because, That's right. No, it's uh, okay. Yeah, they, sorry. They, they, they we are talking to Cameroonians. Yes, they, they, there, is a, there is a communique claiming that if the convention was postponed, it's simply because the political atmosphere in the country was not conducive for a convention to be held. What, what, what do you think? What, what makes it not conducive? Well, I can't say anything. You yeah, the, the talk of uh, the anglophone problem. They talk of lack of finances. It is an elective convention. We don't need a lot of finances. We are, we are, we are going in, candidates are going in, into NEC, the National Executive Committee of the SDF. Each candidate pays 100,000. It is uh, not going to be an exhaustive convention, it's just an elective convention. I don't see how the SDF cannot raise that money. No. And then, yes. We talk of uh, the Anglophone problem. The Anglophone problem not ending in October when we are having the elections. I feel that, considering the regime in place, the CPDF regime, is a, an in-depth dictatorship. And we must prepare and tell Cameroonians that. Cameroonians, Anglophone and Francophone, that it will not be business as usual. That we are going to take power. And we must explain to Cameroonians who have lost faith, the law of apathy, they feel that every time we get there, the civilian will win us. So we must have time to make uh, militants, Cameroonians, understand that we are going this time with a difference and to bring it like other countries, sister countries, Nigeria, Burkina Faso, Kenya, South Africa have gotten it. Some came out after us. So shifting the convention on flimsy excuses getting close to the to the elections the proper election the presidential elections because eventually i think that will be the flag bearer for the sdf okay eventually you think you're going to, you, you as a presidential candidate you're going to be the flag after bearer. being the, the chairman of the party after being the so i think that shifting it does not give us room but however it has been placed in october and i have been working and i think that we'll make it yeah. but i don't cherish that idea that you keep on shifting you don't, you don't so, so uh, I was talking, you asked a question, I, I know things. Uh, uh, that... No, yes, you asked the question. The question I asked and that you have been trying to respond is that you, you have responded already that it was based on flimsy reasons yes, that's why our the convention was being postponed. Yes, and you also asked and a question the question now. about, uh, you said a fake election was organized. Yes, an election was because you yes. asked that uh, level field. Yes. But no, no, we'll come back on the level field. Yes. Let me ask you this question. You talked about fake elections being yes. held. Yes. In your absence yes. and in the absence of Fundi. Yes. When did that take place? It did. Uh, it took place before April when the convention. And the was. election was on what? It was for the, uh, on the chairman because of the, uh, on the chairmanship, the position of chairman, because what is obtained in the party to get into NEC, the National Executive Council, is that candidates all over the, the entire republic contest. If you have a position, it starts from the word till you get to the convention. That's from the word to the electoral district, to the region, and then the convention. So it, within the word, if there are two persons contesting for one position, the, the words will carry on a, a primaries and select one person for the word. So when I bought my form, I sent it to my word, there was nobody contesting with me for the national chairmanship. Yeah, but I'm sorry, you are elongating the explanation. My question was, a fictitious election took place. That's what you claim. That's right. When did it take place? It took place before April. Before Some, April. Uh, sometime before April. When we were organizing, within the time that the party said we should organize primaries for the convention. In, in insinuating what you're saying, yes. are you trying to say the SDF 
preaches democracy without, but within, it is a corrupt, dictatorial, filthy party. I cannot say so, because I've been a member of the SDF from, from, from inception. Yeah. There are some persons that try to break the laws, and those are the persons we try to correct. Because when we cry, when I cry foul, I wrote a complaint as, as uh, speculated, as uh, detailed by the investiture, by the, by the party. I made a complaint on uh, such an election. They made an election in my absence and in the evening in the absence of John Fundy. And said, where the two kinds, in Bermuda too, and said, John Fundy won me. I said, how could he? I stood with uh, who was representing me. They picked somebody. Is that based on that, that you claim you made The field, that the if field. the field is not level, we'll crush it. And they have said, even John Fundy, it is alleged. And a number of persons in the party have said that that arrangement was, uh, was uh, a fake arrangement. But I said, it is one arrangement too many. One arrangement too many. Too many. Are to make for, to for the SDF. Are you insinuating? For the chairman position you, of the SDF. Are you insinuating that, that there have been several foul plays like that? Yeah, I'm, I'm insinuating that it is very, it is a, a serious it, is, is thing to be, to be made. Is it recurrent? Uh, that is one of it. One of it. Now, that is one of it. Let me ask another question. Are you aware of the number of people that have tried to challenge Frundi and have gone into political oblivion. Yes. Christian Tabet Singh. Yeah, that's right. Um, uh, Bernard, Bernard Muna. Muna. Yes. And well, there's a, there's a, there's a number of a them. Number of them. Mm. Joa. Joa. Yes. Polinos Joa, right? Polinos Joa. Uh, Andrew Aconte. Aconte. Well, I don't know whether Aconte actually wanted to challenge the chairman. Okay. However, there are a number of them. Are Anglophone, number. Francophone. No. Cameroon, yes. Don't you think that you are going to elongate that list? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think that uh, I'm a journalist. I'm a journalist and I'm grounded in the party. And I, I'm, not, I'm, not just, uh, I, I'm not just, it's not just a joke matter. Good. Now, there's another question. I don't, uh, yes. there, there's another thing. Uh, I'm sorry to have interrupted yes. you. You know, we have a problem of time. Yes. But let me come on on this. You made another allegation on Tough Talk that John Frundy is not different from Paul Bia or is corrupt eating from the cpdm can you repeat no, that can I, you clarify I said, it yes, yes i said yes in my manifesto in the book that is on in the market effective democratic succession or latinans efficace the, in french i said in one of it i said john fundy supports bia's gangsterism john fundy supports bia's, bia's gangsterism. gangsterism in that we go to we keep on going into elections and sometimes knowing that the regime, the CPDM, is going to win. And we keep on going without preparing grounds to take it, to get to the last result. It's done elsewhere. We cannot be an exception. Are you not saying such a thing simply because this is now campaigns? So you just want to blackmail Frundi? Because when you say he's supporting Bia's gangsterism, Good. it simply means that John Frundi is corrupt. He's lying to the Cameroonian people. I'm saying that they mm -hmm. are the grassroots. Are the grass true or false? What I, what I'm saying is that at the grassroots, militants are waiting for change. And, and if the want. leadership, if the leadership, the chairman is at the apex of leadership, uh, if you con continue to conduct yourself and conduct the party into 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 elections that you know that we are going to lose and without any preparations, then it is support for the gangsterism of beer. Because not acceptable that a liquor is an, is an outfit that is chosen by the CPDM regime, which has interest in the elections. They work for the, for, 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 for the interest of CPDM to win. So if, as what I'm going to do now, I have talked, if beer, if President beer continues and allow a liquor to continue to, to go, I'm preparing Cameroonians. We will not accept it. When you mean you will not accept, what will you do? We'll get to a lot. What, what teachers have done? What lawyers have done? What other countries have done? Which means, are you going to call what? for the Cameroonians? Uh, 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 the the last resort within our constitution. That is within United Nations human rights, international human rights, that Cameroon has ratified. Said, if you talk, if a people talk to a leadership, for some time, and that leadership fails to listen to the people. 
they have a right to take up resistance and remove that, that leadership by whatever means. It is within our constitution. That is a threat, a veiled threat it you is. are addressing. Yes. When you say... Within our constitution. Within your constitution. Yes. Every means, the last resort. The last resort, resort to the last resort. Yes. The now, constitutional. Let me ask you a question. But, what makes you different from John Frundi? Uh, what I want to... Uh, where I'm going to, to elections. I'm going for a two-state federation. John Frundi is going for a four-state. I'm going for a two states. And I said, Cameroonians came together. When they went into plebiscite, they went for a two state, equal status, by jura, by cultural, bilingual. And today, the Anglophones don't want to hear. They don't want, they think that they should separate. The Francophones think that if they give the two states federation, it will be a route to split the country. So I have a duty to tell them that. Where there is good governance. If there was good governance, the, Anglo the, 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 the level of complaint would not have reached this level. It would not have reached this height. So I'm convincing them that that is what the two countries, the, the two countries. former countries came together on a two-state federation. And with good governance, we are not going to break away. The people will be together. Good governor does not mean that a single Anglophone, one Anglophone will be taken all rights and on wealth give and given to. No. It means that if you are an Anglophone, you commit a crime, they will judge you in the civil law uh, yes, jurisdiction, law. the common law. The, if you are a Francophone, that you are used to the uh, civil law, and you commit a, an offense, they will judge you there. When it comes to sharing, uh, the wealth, the, it will be proportional. It will be rational. We are not going away. Federation is as like in other countries. So long as it is strong and the people feel that they are, their interest is catered for and there's development, they will, they, will, they will take to it. So you have Anglophones who are no more interested. You have Anglophones who think that if you give the two states uh, separation, they don't want, they want an entire country. So we have, I have a duty, and I've been talking to Francophones. And, and have they been receptive, the Francophones? They've, they've been receptive. They've been receptive. They've, 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 they've been receptive. Uh, alternatively, there's this other question I would like to, to know about uh, your opinion on Nidis uh, as an aspiring uh, man for the chairmanship. So and eventually the presidential candidate, the, the flag bearer of the ASEAN for yes. the presidency. Okay. And eventually to become the president. And eventually of this become country. the president. Now, what is your take on the current loan agreement between Cameroon and the International Monetary Fund? Loan agreement. Yeah. Are you not aware that Cameroon has uh, contracted or is it in a kind of uh, subtle structural adjustment program? With we, are, the we, are, we are a data country. We have, been taking, we have been taking a lot of loans. No, now, are you aware? We are heavily indebted poor country. Are you aware that Cameroon has signed an agreement with the International Monetary Fund? Are you aware? I am aware. We have signed an agreement, not once. We have been signing, we are a data country. We have signed, so we have taken a lot of loans. So I'm aware of all what is happening. Now, within the SDF, to win, you need to have delegates. Am I wrong? That's right. You, there are delegates there within the constitution. There is not everyone that How votes. many delegates do you need to be the chairman? The delegates that will that the delegates that will beat by above fifty percent of all the delegates. So in the convention, you'll be talking of delegates uh, uh, of more than a thousand delegates from around the country. Yes. So, however. The delegates that will give you more than fifty percent, and are you sure will to make get, you win? Are you sure to have a more than? 50%? I think that if I float my manifesto as I'm doing, and on a level field, I'm going to beat him. I will beat John Frundy no. by at least seventy-five percent. What makes you think that you are going to beat Frundy seventy-five percent? He yes. has been now, there now, for now, five he, years. For 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 above twenty-seven years. Yes. We, I think I'm, I'm talking of the state of the country that I want to take. I'm talking of an elective Secretary General in the party. When we started the party, it was, we had an elective Secretary General. But somewhere the along the line, the John Fundy led executive changed it. 
For various reasons, they convinced militants it was changed. And that a Secretary General is appointed. When you appoint a Secretary General, the Secretary General turns to work as if it's your private sector. It's not done. It's not democracy. We want that any position has, this, has a rule, has a guideline on what, what, what each, op each person of that position does. Whether you are the secretary, whether you are the chairman, or the financial secretary, whatever. You have a, this, a, a directive. So I think that the secretary general should not be appointed. I think that the SDF, the party, should have a secretariat of its own. We have, most times we hold meetings in John Fundy's house. It's good. But it does not speak well of a party. The, in Bavusam, Bavusam is con, uh, constructing his uh, uh, secretariat. I think that that's good. With 30,000, 30 million, with 30 million, we can do that. The SDF is too big a party to complain of such money, to have a secretariat. Are you so, so why do you think they have not been able to have a secretary? I there? think that is lack of vision. So of the leadership of the and um, that in, that is incumbent on John Fundy. So yeah, yes. he, so Fundy is myopic, no leadership. Yeah, yeah at that level, John Fundy was vibrant when we started this thing, but today he's no more as uh, as strong. He, he doesn't even talk. He doesn't articulate. We are going to elections. There's no plan. I've asked uh, some 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 psychophants, some persons that support him, on repeatedly. Ask them, are you convinced you are supporting John Fundy? Are you convinced that we are going to take elections where it will be at the presidency? The SDF will be in a 2D this year. They, they, sh they shook their heads. They shook their heads yes, in, they shook approval their head in, in disapproval. In disapproval. It shows that we are just going there. John Fundy is no, no more as articulate. He's no, he's no more. When I say he's, he's tired, I'm not saying that he can't go to the farm. I'm saying that he's not as vocal. It's no more. He doesn't. He doesn't listen to the people and approach the regime as it was when we started. So he's tired. He's lost the ideas that can change, can make change. For somebody to be 27, to be on seat for 27 years, and you cannot break, change what we have been, or make us get what we have been clamoring for as in principle, then it is. Uh, he's tired. What would you say of people who say, okay, Fundi? can be 27 years, but he's not the first person. You have uh, Abdullah Ward, 40 years in the opposition. Okay. Eventually, he became the president. Okay. Lorang Bagbo, I think 20, 25 or 30, eventually he became president. Alpha Conde, the same length of time, eventually he became president. So, come what may, Frundi might gamble his way to power. It's not gambling. Getting to power is not gambling. Um, you talk of the man of Cote d'Ivoire. Um, uh, Laurent Gbagbo. Laurent Gbagbo. Laurent, Laurent Gbagbo came after us. He came here to our conventions. He listened to us. 1998. Yes. He listened to us. He learned from us. And he went and took power. And we are here for so long. He's not the only one. May I remember you know? him in Melchior and Daniel So the, 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 issue, the, issue, the issue is not only the law. I'm not talking of the, about the years. If you are, you've spent so many years and you are putting a solid foundation, then it's acceptable. But when you spend the years that we are not seeing anything to show for, then it is, it is as worthless. What will you do with you said there are some unrepentant militants, yes. this fanatical base? Yes. What, how, what will you do to convince them? No, I'm talking to them, but each person has just one vote. John Fundy has just one vote. On a level field, he has just one vote. But we have, I have the entire country, we have the entire country to campaign to delegates from the entire country so they have just one vote and i think that i eventually convince them to give me their votes even uh, even that of john Fundy. i think that i'll convince john Fundy to give me his vote you are 100 percent sure that they're going to give you the vote i think i will convince them but i have i i i don't have any doubt that many persons are supportive now let me ask you a question this has gotten to do with the fact that you want to go on for the top job of the uh, SDF. Good. Do you think that the SDF have been out of touch with the Anglophone problems and the problems of Greater Cameroons? No, the the SDF, the leadership. Yes. The leadership of the party. Have they been out of the, touch? Yeah, yeah. If if the uh, when we talk about the Anglophone problem, the SDF has from the one we talk about federation. But I think that a leadership will go to equity with clean hands. Any leadership 
that comes up. Listen to the Anglophones. Talk to them. I'm the first person that forced my party, the SDF, to start talking to the, to the to SNC. I said, this thing has been declared by the courts. When the, 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 the SNC as capo took uh, the regime to court. In the Banjo. Yes. They, they, they resolved that the president should talk to them. The president did not talk to the, to the SNC and his couple. He went out and talked to John Frundy. No, that's not what they're saying. I said, based on that, I said, I'm talking to SNC and couple. That they are Cameroonians. I want to convince them that they should not be afraid. That it can be done. That what is happening in Cameroon today is bad governance. And that if I take over power, I will, I will, give repa I will pay reparations for any injustice that have been done. To any group of persons. Okay. Francophone or Anglophone? Francophone or Anglophone. Yeah. Well, Mr. Felix Teche Nyamusa, it was a great, great and immense pleasure to have you here as a guest. It's today. my pleasure, Mr. Smith. Okay. Um, so feel very free to come here whenever you want or whenever you have anything to do. Our house is open. Thank you. And may I remind listeners that Mr. Felix Teche Nyamusa is an SDF militant and he's gunning for the top job of the party come October and eventually year. the presidential candidate and eventually as he has said yes. the flag bearer of the party yes. for the 2018 presidential yes. election but yes. please do not go away stand by or stay tuned to more programs here on Canal de English thank you